everyone, it's a beautiful day today. It's absolutely roasting. It's actually like 25 degrees here at the moment. So we thought we'd take the opportunity to do a video that has been requested. Um, so, oh, sorry, Finley's just snuffed on me from all the way over there. Um, so this is Gemstone Devon. He's one of our um, show rams and he has kindly volunteered to be washed today so that you get a good idea of um, the process of how we wash. Um, so the kit we've got is obviously our table. We've got him standing on the table already. Um, so he's ready and prepared. And then we've got an IBC tank here. This has been um, folded over and strapped down. So if we were doing the lambs, we could just roll them straight into that. But obviously you can see the size of Devon um, and I'm doing it by myself. Um, so we don't tend to roll the bigger animals into this. We tend to do it all on the stand. So they're contained and we can move around easily um, and and get them done um, better and it's more comfortable for them as well. So um, the first thing we do when we're washing is we just pick out as much of the hay. He's just come in so he's just gone straight for the hay. Um, so we get out as much of the hay as we can um, so we don't get that caught in the washing and we just pick through the fleece and make sure we can get the big, the big chunks out of it as much as we can. Okay, that's one side, just do the other side. And it's all I'm doing is running my hands through so you get the fluff. That's the dead hair as well. It's great to get that off if you can. Um, and get get all the hay out. There's not much he's been out so in the field, so he's not too much and it's not muddy anymore. So right, okay, so the next step, what I would do next is soak the sheep um, so that he's got um a nice water before we put the um, shampoo on. It's kind of like washing your hair, I guess. You give yourself a rinse before you put the soap on. So um, in the water, we have, um, it's warm, and today we've put a bit of cold in as well because it is really hot. So we thought they might benefit from a slightly cooler water. But we usually always use warm water because it helps the detergent work much better. And then we've got a, um, a branded washing up liquid, which I won't mention, um, but I'm sure you can figure it out. I prefer to use um, one that's skin kind, so it doesn't have an, any effects on the sheep. Okay, so I've also got a water pump in here, um, which is how we get the water onto the sheep. It gives us loads of pressure. We're in a very low pressure area, so it is a problem for us. There you go, it's all started by itself, which is nice. So I'm just going to give him a quick rinse all over. Make sure to get underneath the belly and area and right in around the legs. Um, because that's a really muddy area and they quite often have quite a lot of dirt in there. So just around the back and under the tail and the balls as well. Get nice, get nicely inside, get under there, give them a good wash. So the next thing I do is get a little bit of the washing up liquid. I usually start with the head, so I get a little bit on my hands, I rub it all together, just get it in there, on their faces, and just around the head area. And then I put a bit on my hand and I just run it down the sheet. I don't, you don't want too much soap, um, in my opinion, because if you have loads and loads of soap, then it does wash out the lanolin and you still want to keep a little bit of that. Um, especially if you're preparing for a show, you're going to be doing a couple of washes, um, probably. <laughs> so 
you don't want to put too much in. You still want them to be protected. So, um, yeah, so I run, I just put a little bit on my hand and run it down, down the body. So making sure I'm getting a really good covering, but not too much soap. Good boy, you're being very good today, Devon. Devon is one of our more temperamental runs. So. <laughs> But he is used to being washed and things for show because we did show him a bit last year. So on the tail, I just put a bit of soap on and I give it a good rub there, just getting it nice and massaged. And then with the bum, I do the same. So put the rub it into my hands and then in and massage it in. They don't really like this bit. <laughs> good boy. And I always, if you're showing, I always do the balls as well because the judges are likely to have a feel. So it's always nice to have nice clean balls to show. Um, and same with the use with the others. I'll give them a bit of a wash as well to make sure they're nice and clean. Right, so we'll just do the other side. So you'll be seeing that I'm using a, um, a soup pot for, um, with my soap in and everything. And I've still got a bit of soap ooh, left inside. So what I'm going to do is just put a bit of water in it and then mix it up. To do the legs, um, I'll just come around and do this one so that's the best view. So I just put a little bit of the water over it and then rub it because they do get quite muddy with their legs. Um, and you quite often have a bit of mud in, so just give it a good scrub there. You can see it's a lot more bubbly now, and it gets a lot more of the dirt out. And then I do the same with all of the legs, but just a little bit. Good boy. Okay, and I'll just go around and do the other two. So the next section, I'm just going to rinse him off. So I put soap, oh hang on, I can't find the pump it. Super professional, there we go. <laughs> okay, the next bit I do, so I've just soaked them all over. I've done a bit more on his legs and now I'm going to give him a quick rinse. So um, this actually is not a quick rinse. I do spend a bit more time on this one. And I make sure I get as much of the soap out as I possibly can. Um, and as much of the dirt as well. And we'll see what the difference it makes in a second. Always, I always start at the front just because they don't like having their heads done, so I'll try and do that as quickly as possible. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. And I get right in under. I get the water as far in as I can. As you can see, there's a lot of mud coming off there now, and you can already see the difference in the colour of the fleece don't be afraid to get soaked it's going to happen you know usually i'd be wearing waterproof but i don't need to so there we go so get your hands right in he's going to want to shake like a dog as well they all do it Hopefully they leave it until the point where you're out the way, but I can feel him wanting to do it, so he probably will in a second. So I will have to step away so I don't get up to his boat. He goes, you can see much clearer water coming off the sheet. So much easier to get. And this is why I like using warm water, because it does take a lot of the um, dirt out of the fleece. And he hasn't been washed since he was shorn, so this is completely as if I was starting from fresh. Okay. And there you go, you can see even better there. The difference in the colour between the bit that I've rinsed. Under the belly. It's always the dirtiest place. And I know you don't see it, but I definitely feel better if I've done it. 
because it means I know that the sheet's completely clean. There we go. Does he look better already? I think he does. All right, boys, just get in there. We're into space. Just to make sure there's no shampoo. As you can see, there's nothing left. So he's fully washed up. So we've washed our sheep, he's looking nice and white now. Um, it's really important to remember that I only wash my sheep for showing. That's it. When I'm shearing them or whatever, I don't pre-wash them. It's literally for showing so I can show the sheep and that's it. Or for sales, I will wash them as well if I'm um, selling um, to make them look their best. That's what this brood is about. We want them to look their best. Um, but it does, they don't have much lanolin in their feet, so washing them a lot is really bad for them. Um, right, anyway, so I just thought I'd mention that because I think it's a really important point. Um, so we've washed Devon now. Um, he probably won't really need drying. Um, I'm just going to let him in the field in a minute and he can dry off himself. But um, for the purpose of the video, I thought I'd show you how we dry them, especially as a lot of the shows, it can be quite wet beforehand. So um, I've just got a standard dog blow dryer, I think it is, but you can get them for sheep or whatever. Um, and then we just turn it on. And then we just blow over it. There we go. Okay, so I've given him a quick blow dry and um, as you can see his fleece is starting to fall back down. He's still quite wet and on a gorgeous day like today just chuck him out in the field and they'll dry naturally which is really important. They should look natural for shows so they shouldn't have anything else really done to them. Um, and Devon's fleece is, is looking pretty good, still a bit of hay in. Obviously I've just done one wash so for a show I would do at least two, possibly three depending on um, how clean the sheep were at the beginning and how they look so you do need to be um, a little bit forthright with it make sure you get the the sheep washed to a standard you're happy with so as i've said i've just done one wash there's still bits in his leg that you would pick out and things but i'm not actually going to show him now i'm just going to share him this afternoon what well, later um, so yeah, so it's really important just to make sure that you're happy with your sheep. Dry them naturally. I would always wash um, probably at least a week before the show and then I, and again, maybe two or three days before. Their fleece does take quite a while to um, dry, so it, it, you don't want to be going to the show really with wet sheep. Um, so yeah, so Devon's all done. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, look at all my other videos. There's loads and stuff, loads and loads of stuff on there, as well as us being a little bit silly with a unicorn outfit. You have to go and find out what that's all about. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope it's been helpful.